So the wonderful team at Sephora recently sent me a 15% off coupon, and I suspect a lot of people got this. I want to say it had something to do with their previous sale. If you spent something like $50 or more, you got a coupon for later, and it's later now. So I made a few purchases. Incidentally enough, this came like at the perfect time because I had been browsing the Sephora website, looking at all the new releases and wanting everything and buying none of it. So it was nice to kind of have a little haul, treat myself, because everything is bad right now. So I'm just in being kind to myself mode. Side note, and I know I've mentioned this before, but every time I get an email saying your Sephora order has shipped, I get a little annoyed and just, you know, why not your Sephora has shipped. I think it writes itself. But alas, I do not work for the Sephora marketing team, so I must rage in silence. Anyways, I'm going to show you what I got. If you like these kind of videos, feel free to subscribe. I put out new videos every single week. And I'll add this into my hauls and unboxing playlist. If you like those kind of videos, playlists will be linked up above. By the way, I have my humidifier going because it's dry as a desert in here. So if you can hear that, apologies. But I am like a little croissant right now. I need all the moisture I can get. When I placed this order, I did something that I almost never do. And I browsed the points bazaar, which, you know, has kind of become a meme at this point. Actually, editing Maggie put the meme up on the screen. And it was even weirder because this was online. I had no idea what the sizes of these products would be, but there were just stuff I was curious about. So I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll get this. Why not? I have about 2,000 points that I have not used since... I even collected them, so I'm like, life is short, let's spend some points and see what happens. So, let's get on into the products I purchased. They're actually not that interesting, but I'm gonna talk about it anyway. <laughs> Content. Okay, first let's get the freebies out of the way. I always love getting little perfumes. So, this is Le Interdit by Givenchy. I'm definitely pronouncing that wrong, so good for me. The Underground Flower, a white flower crossed by a dark woody accord. That sounds like something I'd enjoy. So let's see. Offhand, just getting exclusively floral notes. I'm not really noticing anything woody. I wonder if that can... Okay, there's a little bit. It's a little like a warm woody kind of scent. Like if you're in the woods on a humid summer afternoon, and then you walk into a lily garden. That's nice. And then I also got Juliet Has a Gun Magnolia Bliss. I like that it came in a little box. This is free, but it makes me feel so fancy. Okay, so let's test it on the other wrist. This is described as a refreshing and peaceful floral composition, twisted with a delicious note of Mirabelle Plum. You know, at first, when I first sprayed this, I was really hit with the plum. Now I'm getting a lot more floral. Little bit of sweetness, more, not quite like a vanilla-y sweet, of um, a different kind of sweet, more refined. All right, that's neat. <laughs> Add this to my little perfume sample collection, which grows bigger by the day. And I also want to show you guys the points perks I chose. The Drunk Elephant TLC Sukari Baby Facial. And it is supposedly, I've been told, different from the Ordinary's Facial of a similar variety. So this is 25%. AHA, 2% BHA, and chickpea flour. Shoutouts to my brother who works in milling science and for his internship actually milled chickpea flour. He's gonna think this is hilarious. So let me show you how big this is actually. It's not huge, but given that this is a treatment, I'm not totally mad about that because I can see myself getting enough uses out of this to decide whether or not this would be worth purchasing the full-size bottle. I've just heard a lot of people say that it's even better at resurfacing than the ordinary and I thought it might be cool like it could be an interesting video to compare the two if you guys are interested in that let me know it will probably take me a minute because I take forever to review things let me know and I will put it on my docket for like probably several months down the line but I thought this would be neat to have it was a hundred points which is a lot but oh well five milliliters 0.16 fluid ounces might be good for travel actually Good to know. This next one I thought was hilarious. I have to show you this. So SK2 is a brand that is hideously expensive 
and is on my mind constantly. Their facial treatment essence is described as working miracles. I have actually seen before and afters where it looked like it legitimately firmed your skin. Like made your skin firmer, I should say. And I know that there are dupes out there. Here's the thing, I don't care. Because there was a 250 points perks reward with SK2. They call this, let's see, the three day kit. There's a little sheet with it with instructions as if you don't know how a face mask works. So it's very cute. This is the facial treatment essence that I got. Look at this. It's so little. It is 0.3 fluid ounces. And in typical Maggie fashion, I'm already like, oh, when I use this up, I'm totally gonna use this for like future trips and just fill it up with the toner that I always use, which is the Hadalabo Dokujin lotion. If you're curious, that stuff's amazing. I've gone through like three bottles of it. I was just curious. I'm not about to pay $100 for the full size bottle yet. I figured this amount would tell me if this was worth either my time or worth investing the effort to find a dupe. And I got a face mask. I don't really like using face masks, but hey, if I'm gonna treat myself, this haul was very much a treat yourself kind of haul. Sure, why not? Let's use a face mask and then I can use whatever is left in this for like another face mask, face mask part two leftovers edition. So in a way it's like I got two of these. <laughs> some bargain hunting for you right there. Okay, now to what I actually purchased because some of these I'm legitimately excited for. This one is boring, but I'm gonna show you it anyways. I got the Laura Mercier powder puff because I am currently struggling in a way I never have with face brushes before. For the last, I would say, few months, maybe even up to a year, I have not found a brush that doesn't hurt my skin. And I have tried all kinds, all brands, uh, synthetic, natural hair, nothing seems to be working, so I figured let's go powder puff and see if setting my face with this does anything for me whatsoever. And it looks like Laura Mercier was the only brand still making these, so I paid a whopping many dollars, and let's find out. You know what pisses me off? NYX used to give those away for free, and I threw them out like a coward. I, if only I had hung on to these, if only 16 year old Maggie knew that she would need these one day, uh, maybe she wouldn't have been so wasteful, but here we are. This is bigger than I thought it would be. I got the KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub with 10% AHA by First Aid Beauty. This is the two ounce size. I believe it's their smaller size and it's still like, it's kind of big. It's bigger than I thought it would be. I could take this on a plane with me because it's under three ounces. And I have real bad KP, what's the full name? I can never pronounce it right. Keratosis polarisis. Throw it on the screen. I'm really bad, especially on my arms, but also on my legs. I'm like, I'm just a little KP baby. And I've been trying a few different scrubs just to see if that does anything, if I need to potentially change my body care routine. And I consider, you know, why not at this end? There are quite a few KP products that I'm interested in trying, but this was kind of at the top. People had a lot of good things to say. And I just love body scrubs. I know people have differing thoughts on whether or not they actually work or do anything. I personally love them. So I'm happy to try this out and see what I think. Oh, and look who got another Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. This gal. I can't be without it, you guys. Is it ridiculous to spend $14 on a mascara solely for your bottom lashes? Absolutely. Is that something in the treat yourself category? 100%. I have bad luck with mascara lasting on my bottom lashes no matter what I do. And please don't tell me to try a tubing mascara. I tried that once, never again. People who say it comes off with just warm water are lying. They are liars, they are dirty liars. I tried so hard and it would not come off, so I vowed never again. It is the bottom lash mascara for me for life. This one I am very excited about. The Ordinary just came out with their what is this? Multi-peptide lash and brow serum. Now I already use a brow serum, the Rapid Brow Brow Serum, which I don't think has really grown my brows all that much, but it has darkened them, which has been great because 
Any dye I put in my very blonde eyebrows just doesn't do a damn thing. I mean, it didn't work like I thought it would, but it did work, which is weird. And I've been thinking about adding a lash serum, and I went back and forth because they're all stupid expensive, but this one was $14. And none of the ingredients jumped out at me as being really irritating because I do have really sensitive, really dry eyes, so I have to be super careful. I figured one of two things would happen. Either it would work for my lashes and I'd be really happy, or it would work for my brows and I would be really happy. And if nothing happens, I only wasted $14. Uh, would you all like to see a review with this? I'm kind of not sure. I originally bought this for my lashes, but let me know if you would like to see it work on my eyebrows also or in or instead of let me know if you'd like to see a video breaking this down and if so in what way because you all watch these videos so I really want to make ones that you enjoy but this one I was quite excited about currently you can only get it I believe on Sephora's website it's not in stores yet at least as far as I could tell and I couldn't find it anywhere in Ulta super glad I snatched this up all right folks that is my little Sephora haul my Sephora arrived intact nothing broken and it's also nothing exciting <laughs> I did consider at one point getting the new Pat McGrath palette but I did want to swatch it in person because the swatches that I've seen online are just so different. And of course there were other very pretty things that were very much on my list, but I stayed strong. I'm proud of me. Also, apologies if you can see my glasses marks on these. I had to look up a few things before I started filming this video because I can't look at a computer screen without my glasses on. Otherwise, my eyeballs will explode. No, they just hurt and the screen gets really blurry, so I have to use my glasses, but I, I haven't found a concealer or a foundation that doesn't uh, lift with my glasses. Maybe that could be its own product. If you have suggestions, leave a comment. But that is my little Sephora haul. I will never get over this. <laughs> both the audacity and the adorableness. Anyways, uh, let me know what your thoughts are, if you purchased anything, if you even got a coupon. That's also something I'm curious about, like how this all works. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.